All right, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Trinity. This isn't going to be a very long video. Good morning, Oliver. Making his rounds. We're going to be talking about the Trinity. What's interesting is in the Bible, the word Trinity isn't mentioned. But we're going to talk about it. And if you like this kind of thing, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to stick around, share this video, talk about this video, and let me know where you're watching from. All right. There's a famous saying. I think it's from, it, it was originally from The Art of War with Sun Tzu. And it's it's a concept. It's It's the art of fighting without fighting. That is a uh, that is a true warrior if he knows how to fight without fighting. So we're going to talk about the Trinity without talking about the Trinity. If that makes sense. Without talking about Jesus Christ, without talking about God the Father and the Holy Spirit, because that's what we believe. We believe that the Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, three in one. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to use numbers to try and explain the Trinity. So let's go and let's just play around with some numbers here. We're going to use these numbers here. Three, six, and nine. What's interesting is, again, if you use, if you use the number three, you have a representation of the Trinity, like we said, three and one. If you use the number six, number six represents man. So when you cut this in half, you have three and three, like so. And if you use the number nine, you have three, three, three. Just kind of interesting. Right out of the gate. We've got something interesting going on with these three numbers. So if you're to take three and you times it, we do the three times table, if you will. <clears throat> three times one is three. Three times two is six. Three times three is nine. Whoa. Three times four is 12. Three times five is 15. I'm not going to do the whole times table, but three times six is 18. You notice <clears throat> it's increasing by threes all across the board, which is kind of cool. Once you get to over 10, so you got three, six, nine. These three numbers that we're talking about here. And then it goes, if you take the number 12 and you add it together, one plus two is three. One plus five is six. One plus eight is nine. We get these three same numbers appearing. It's crazy, right? Crazy. And maybe you've thought about this already. Maybe you're like, yeah, yeah, I know my times table. Just kind of cool that there's a pattern here showing up. So if you did the same thing, if you went six times one is six. Six times two is 12. Six times three is 18. <laughs> Six times four is 24. Six times five is 30. Six times six is 36. Let's see what we get going on here. 
So obviously we have the number 6, we have 12, we have 18, and obviously they're all going up by 6. It's not a big deal. But here we get the same pattern again. We get 3, and we get 9, and we get 6, and we get 3, and we get 9. And it goes on and on. So the next one should be 6, right? So 7 is 42. 6. Interesting, right? That these three numbers keep showing up. 3, 6, 9. Kind of interesting. Now, obviously, if we jump to... Nine times table. Let's see what goes on with that one. Nine times one is nine. Nine times two is eighteen. Nine times three is twenty seven. Nine times four is thirty six. 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 6 is 54, etc. So what do we get? What kind of a pattern do we get here? We got 9. 1 plus 8 is 9. 2 plus 7 is 9. 3 plus 6 is 9. 4 plus 5 is 9. 5 plus 4 is 9. Interesting. You get the nine, nine times table, it's just nines right across the board. Very interesting. So when you talk about the Trinity, three and one, you see these three magical numbers that keep appearing again and again, three, six, nine. And then when the nine times table shows up, it's nine all the time. It's quite fascinating when you think about it. And one final thing I wanted to show here. It's just kind of interesting that these three numbers keep showing up. Same thing happens if you're to go and make a perfect triangle. You need 45 degrees here. 45 degrees here. 45 degrees here. Excuse me. So, this is what, how you get a perfect triangle, is you have to have this. Notice that if you add 4 plus 5, 4 plus 5, 4 plus 5, they're all 9. And if you take these three nines, put them together, you got 27. <laughs> huh, excuse me. I still get nine. Which is kind of cool. And if you add up all these degrees, 45, 45, and 45, you get 135. Which, when you add those three numbers up together, it's nine. And you could do this all day long if you keep adding an angle on each one of these. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where you get uh, 360 degrees. Which, when you add up to three... And the six, you get nine. Kind of cool, right? And if you cut this in half, I should know this. I'm tired. And if you divide 360 by two, it's 180. I just blanked for a second there. Still nine. That nine shows up all over the map. 
It's crazy, right? Crazy. Just something to think about. You know, when we're talking about the Trinity three and one, it's just kind of interesting that these numbers are in the universe and you can't get away from these three numbers. So there's something going on with all this stuff. So that's all I want to share with you guys is just to kind of not go too deep, too heavy this morning. I'm about to go to off to church. But it's kind of interesting when you even look at the clock. Uh -huh. You know, you have you have 12 hours represented the day. You have 12 hours represented uh, the evening. And 12, of course, at the very top is 3. And you get 3 on the right side. And then at the bottom, you have 6. And then on the left, you got 9. So you got 3, 6, 9. And at the top is 3. Kind of interesting, right? Very interesting. Like you can go on about the clock. <laughs> it's all sixes, threes, and nines mixed in the clock. We have 60 seconds in a minute. You drop to zero, you got six. You, we got 60 minutes in an hour. 24 hours in a day. Uh, two plus four is six. It's crazy. Three days, 72 hours, which is nine. Two plus seven is nine. <laughs> That's the stuff can make that can make your mind go on tilt. It's all around us. It's in everything that we do. If you're an engineer, you're going to see these numbers show up all the time. As I've said in other videos, I'm not a rocket surgeon. Not good at math. Not good at English. I just like reading my Bible. So this is just more Sunday. Nice and relaxing. Read your Bible. Just some interesting thoughts to ponder as you go about your daily business. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. And I will see you in another video. Bye for now.